Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to expand your e-commerce business and reach a wider audience? In this video, I will guide you how to create multiple stores in Shopify, from setting up an additional stores to managing inventory and customizing each store's design. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So here we go guys, now I am on Shopify, I will just log in real quick so I can show you how you can create multiple stores. So here we go, I have connected my account to the login and it is as simple as that. Now I have all these stores that, that are inactive because I only used the free trial which is only 3 days or 7 days I mean. So after the 7 days they will get inactive and the only way to activate them once more is by buying the Shopify pack which is will cost me around one dollar per month now let's create another store so let's click here sorry here we go and now skip all and choose an account and now let's do something like that remind me next time uh, let me try another one for example uh, this one uh, let's try another account. Okay, let's go with this one and let's activate the two steps authentication. So here we go, confirm. And now the store will be built. So this is the first store that you have created. Now, how can we create another one and another one and another one? Well, there is two ways or one way to be honest. One, one is by creating like multiple emails. So as you can see here, I have multiple emails, so I can with each email create a store and then I can try and swap between them as I like. So as I said now guys, uh, just when you create your Shopify store, make sure guys to get the, this $1 per month plan or your store will be deleted after a couple days. As you can see, it will be $1 for e any one of these plans as long as it is for the first three months. Later on, it will get more expensive, so at least you can get the experience for the first three months for only $1. Now this is the first door and here they show you when it's gonna end, so it's gonna end up after four days in my case. Now this is the first door that we have created. So now let me go to my account and click on stores through here. Here we go. Now here they will show me all the stores that I have active and inactive in my account, which is in this specific email. What can I do to create another store? Simply click on this button, create another store, and let's you can answer these questions to so they can give you the best uh, kind of stores for your settings etc but for me I will just skip all and now I will choose this account once more and here it is build a new store so now we have created multiple stores on one Shopify account it is very easy guys to use it's not taking that long and once more each story creates make sure guys to give it that one dollar for the first three months you will get this and it will really help you in like your lifetime. So it will save you money, it will do a lot of time, it will save you work. For example, if you're going to start creating each four days uh, a new store, you can just pay one dollar. It's what is one dollar? It's nothing, literally nothing. For three months, it is very, very good. Now, as you can see, they are both, they have the same uh, design. And now, as you can see, this menu has been added since I have two stores in like um, one account. So now I can swap between them. So I can go to account and swap to the other store as I like. And how to know that they are different? Just look at the URL section here. You can see that this number is different than this one. So they are completely different stores as you may see. Now, all you have to do next is simply do the Shopify things. Design your store, add product. So as you can see here, we can add product. You can just follow these setup steps that they are giving you. So let's do this, for example. Here we go. And let's try to save it. Here we are, here we are. Save. 
and now we have added our first product the next thing to do is just customizing the store putting the design etc so we have to go through this as well but yeah guys to do this we really have to get a plan so we can have our password protect our website password protected and to remove the password we must like pick a plan and of course with the plan we will get the ssl which is certificate uh, uh, servers which is kind of that allows people to know that our website is safe no one can actually hack into it but they can hack into it but it's really really hard to hack into the https website and just like so guys we have created our second store we can create another one if you would like to you just have to do the same thing which is by going to stores here we go and now we will create another store through here so create another store skip all choose the email that you have chosen in the beginning and it will be built it is as simple as that and for those who ask who are asking me what is the limit what are the like how much stores can we create in one account well you definitely can create as much as you would from account you have infinite amounts of a uh, like uh, tries to create stores as long as you pay this one dollar they will not be removed they will stay in your account and as long as you don't pay they will be uh they will be removed after a couple of days which is four days in my account system it depends on your account it depends on your region to be uh, to be more specific so that's what actually determines either your account is going to your store is going to be deleted in four days three days or a week determining your region and if you are buying the pack or not and what can we do actually with these three stores now you might ask me well you can use one store as your main one and you can use the others as a test one so you can get for example the data that you have in your account here and keep testing it on these stores you can try new theme try how uh, see how it would look like try new plugins you can even like create two separated stores and try to combine them together using some plugins that will help you do that you can even get the customers for example let's say that your store has been uh, losing customers and you feel like yeah your store has been old enough you want to change the domain name you want to change everything but keep like the product keep everything so you can go to your main store which is the first one that you have created and then just go to customers get the data go to product download the data and then go to the next one and from here as you may see for example go to product and then import all the data that you have exported from the other website which is the main one that you have created you can even transfer stuff as you can see so more if it's between locations so you can transfer between businesses so for example you have the store one store two three, store three you can use this using this um, feature swap and transfer items from this store to this store to this store so you can swap between them and always have like kind of team up between the three stores that you have and yeah guys that was completely it for this video thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial